Hello everyone, I am Colin and this is Harness Money and we have to talk about Tesla. Tesla is now the new king of the hill. They have become a $1 trillion market cap business. Right now, the share price is sitting at $1,024 and this puts them just at $1 trillion in market cap. Now, that is enormous for a relatively young company. No company has gotten to a trillion dollars this fast. And let's ask the question, do I believe that Tesla is overvalued? I think intrinsically, the value of the business right now is not worth $1 trillion. But that being said, do I think the stock will continue to rise in share price? Yes, I do. I think that so many people are in the Tesla bandwagon, continue to jump on the Tesla bandwagon, that the share price of Tesla will just continue to rise over time. And that's because you've seen it with these other tech companies. You've seen it with Apple, you've seen it with Microsoft, you've seen it with Google. These tech companies get to a trillion and then they far exceed that $1 trillion market cap. The only one, the only exception to that is Facebook. And that is because Facebook has had so many different issues. But I believe that Tesla is going to continue to rise in value. Now, there's a lot under the hood that we have to break down. It's reaching a trillion dollars because of the future, because of the potential future revenue of this business. I believe that the cars are fantastic, that the cars are gonna continue to drive growth. Everything is firing on all cylinders. There are factories in China, in Germany, in Vegas. They're coming to Austin. That's just going to expand. All of these things are coming online and it is going to make them a beast of a car company. Will they ever reach the deliveries and the level of a Toyota or a General Motors? Probably not. In, in terms of the number of cars delivered, but they really don't have to. They don't have to get to that number of cars to become profitable. They have a completely different model of selling cars and their actual process of uh, manufacturing cars. The cars can be made so much cheaper today with Tesla than they can from GM or through Toyota because of their labor costs. The labor costs of the traditional car companies are gonna keep these car companies from reaching the levels that Tesla has. Now, I think that the cars are great, but the real power, the real competitive edge or potential that this company has, I think is in a couple different areas. Number one, it's in the technology behind the autonomous taxi service. If they can ever get that autopilot, that autonomous driving machine off the ground and create an actual taxi network to rival maybe Uber or Lyft or even compete with the other taxi services, that is going to be extremely valuable for Tesla. That will just drive revenue to a whole nother level. And then the real secret sauce, the secret behind Tesla that I think makes it um, even more valuable than just a car company is the battery, is the actual energy storage. Elon has made no secret that he believes that Tesla is a clean energy company. It's a lot more than just a car company. He has great ambitions to transform the world to more clean energy. That was why he bought Solar City. That is why they developed these batteries and why they did the whole electric car experiment in the beginning anyway, it was because it was a way to get rid of fossil fuels. The secret to Tesla that I think is being undervalued is the battery storage, the energy storage that Tesla has created. If you look up some of the farms, the energy farms that they have created on um, some of the islands, some of the uh, farmland that they have used to create energy storage farms. It is amazing. And I think more and more utility companies around the world are going to be adopting this Tesla storage, energy storage product. And that has so many different ways that you can monetize. Number one, you actually sell the hardware. You sell the battery storage hardware. Number two, that has to be serviced. That is going to have a service contract with Tesla. So that means recurring revenue, just like Elon is creating a uh, service fee that they're charging 
every single month to consumers. They're gonna do this also on the enterprise side. They're gonna do this with utility companies and with other big businesses that want to store their products. Then that doesn't even include the solar energy uh, component. The solar has not played out the way that I think that Tesla or Elon really uh, envisioned that it would, that they would be installing solar panels on scale, on a very large level. But uh, there's a couple different elements that play into that. It's, he said in the past that he primarily bought Solar City was for the technology, for the solar technology, which could be uh, playing into the energy storage, the battery function of the cars and of all these energy products that they are creating. But I still think they have potential to get it off the ground, to get these solar panels off the ground. And as this infrastructure bill comes online, the infrastructure bill that the Democrats are wanting to pass in the US Congress is going to push Tesla forward. It's going to push uh, specifically solar energy and solar panels on homes forward. And that means more um, subsidies, more money is going to go to homeowners to install these clean energy alternatives into their life, into their home, into their daily life. And that is going to give more wind to Solar City. Have they had obstacles? The shingles has not quite worked out, but if they can really master that, they could have a very good revenue stream from high-end clients that will just purely buy the solar panels based on the brand, based on the Tesla brand. Tesla is building a massive brand right now. They want to be seen as a luxury car manufacturer, as a luxury business, which is kind of, to me, um, dichotomous or just in opposition to clean energy. But it is happening and there's no stopping it. It is going to continue to do well. The other elements that I see happening with Tesla right now is that every time that Tesla increases in value, SpaceX, I'm thinking, is increasing in value as well. SpaceX is still a private company. It's still a massive, massively owned by Elon, and you just cannot separate Elon from Tesla and from SpaceX. So every time that Tesla does well or that has a bump in the market or is rolling out a new product, I think that is giving more credence to the success of Elon, that he knows what he's doing, that he has a plan, and that uh, the, some of the bombastic statements that he makes about going to Mars or creating these civilizations out in the stars, that it seems a little bit more doable and a little bit more possible, and that it's not as crazy as it was 10 years ago to believe that these things could happen. So I think the more that people believe in Tesla, the more that people will believe in SpaceX, and you've already seen uh, basically the US government giving approval to SpaceX. They have put their stamp of approval by giving them contracts. If the US government didn't think there was something behind uh, SpaceX, they would not have awarded these contracts to this company. So that is going to just increase in value as well. I think at some point it's got to go public that uh, when that company does end up going public, it's going to be massive. That in and of itself could be a trillion dollar company, especially with satellites and just the uh, rockets that they are launching. There's so many different elements that make that a valuable business that is very, very difficult to replicate. There's only so many players that can play in the space space when it's about creating um, rocket ships that uh, go to the moon or that go to Mars. Now, the very last thing that we have to talk about is Bitcoin. Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Elon is so tied in with the cryptocurrency. The success of Tesla will tie in to these crypto assets. Once again, the um, effect of Tesla being successful means that when Elon talks about crypto, it doesn't sound crazy. It doesn't sound um, far-fetched. It sounds more realistic than ever before. So people can adopt crypto and have faith that this um, currency is going to have value because Elon is putting his own money, because he's putting his own weight into these products. So I think that Bitcoin is here to stay and Bitcoin will continue to be successful as Tesla performs well, and just as the rest of the world, the rest of the financial world 
says, okay, we're going to allow Bitcoin to be a part of our financial ecosystem, that the price of Bitcoin will continue to rise, that we're still just at the beginning. Since Bitcoin is a limited currency, it will only increase in value. Same with NFTs. We're just at the very beginning of NFTs. Those will become more valuable and become basically collector's items rather than a currency. I think some of the other cryptos are in a better place to actually become a transactable currency, but Bitcoin is going to be like artwork. It's going to be a collector's item that will continue to increase in value as Tesla increases in value. Now, the big question, if I had $10,000 or if I had $100,000, would I put that money into Tesla right now? And the truth is that I would not be investing into Tesla right now. If you are a current shareholder of Tesla, congratulations. You deserve every um, award that you could get from owning that stock. I would continue to own that stock and I think it will continue to do well. But if I were a brand new investor, I would not be investing into Tesla because it's just too expensive. It has become too high priced of a stock. And I particularly like to do growth stocks. I like smaller businesses that are growing quickly, that are doubling or tripling in value. Can Tesla double in value? Yes, I think it can. Same with Apple. I think Apple will double in value, but I think it will be a slower march up to $2 trillion or $3 trillion in value than it was from $100 a share to $1,000 a share. So I will not be investing more money into Tesla at this time. I think if you are a current investor, you've got to start thinking about maybe taking some money off the table and putting it into other growth things that are going to double or triple in value faster than Tesla will. So this is what I had today. So thank you for watching. Remember to hit that like button and leave me a comment below. I want to know your thoughts. Is Tesla overvalued? And remember to make good money choices. Till next time.